In this video, we're going to go through the mean and standard deviation. So we've got a table here showing some group data and we've got the number of people. The first part says to work out an estimate for the mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to first work out the midpoints. Now we're going to call that midpoint, so we're going to call it midpoint. And the midpoint in general is always known as x. So we're going to do 0 plus 40 divided by 2, which is 20. 40 plus 60 divided by 2, which will give me 50. In the same way, we can get 70. We can get 90. And we're going to do 100 plus 180 divided by 2, which will give me 140. Then we're going to do f times x, the frequency times by the midpoint. So that's going to be 10 times 20 is 200. 9 times 50 is 450. Then we're going to do 70 times 12, 840. That's going to give me 810. And then we get 1,400. Then now we're also going to do fx squared. So we're going to square the midpoint and then times it by the frequency. So it's going to be 20 squared times by 10. That's going to be 4,000. Then we're going to do the 50 squared times by 9, which is 20,500. Then we're going to do 70 squared times by the frequency, which is 12. That gives me 58,800. Then we're going to do 90 squared times by the frequency, which is 9. And that's going to give me 72,900. And lastly, we're going to do 140 squared times by 10. And that gives me 196,000. Then I'm going to add up the total of fx squared. So that's 4,000 plus 22500 zero, zero, plus 58800 zero, zero, plus 72900. Zero, 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 plus 196000. Zero, zero, zero. Now that will give me 354200. Zero, zero, zero. 354200. Zero, zero. Then we're going to do the same for fx. That gives me 200 plus 450 plus 840 plus 810 plus 1400. And that gives me a total of 3700. So now to work out the mean, the mean x bar is the sum of fx divided by the sum of f. Now in our case, we know the sum of fx, which is 3700, divided by the sum of f, that's going to be this total. So we can just add them up here, 10 plus 9 plus 12 plus 9 plus 10, that gives me 50. So divide that by 50, I get the estimate of the mean. So I'm going to do 3,700 divided by 50, and that gives me 74. So the mean is 74. Now, in order to calculate the standard deviation, we want to show that the standard deviation is approximately 40. So we're going to use this formula. So it's the square root of the sum of fx squared divided by the sum of f 
minus the mean squared. So in our case, it's going to be three, five, four, two, zero, zero, divide by the sum of F, which is 50 minus the mean squared, so in our case is 74 squared. And that will give me the standard deviation. So I can get my calculator now. The square root of three, five, four, two, zero, zero, over 50 minus 74 squared, which is the mean squared, press SD and I get 40.099. So 40.099 and so on. And then that will give me approximately 40. Here's another question. You can pause the video and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. Welcome back. So we want to work out this question. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did before. We're gonna call this X the midpoint and then we're gonna call this FX. So in order to calculate the mean, it's going to be zero plus one divided by two is 0 0.5. One plus two divided by two is going to be 1.5. Then two plus four divided by two is three. That gives me five and that is going to be six plus 12 is 18 divided by two is nine. So then what we can do is do the frequency times by the midpoint. So we can do 16 times 0 0.5. That's going to give me eight. Then I'm going to do 24 times 1.5. That's going to give me 36. That's going to give me 90. Uh, 24 times 5 is 120. Then 24 times 9. That's 216. And then I want to add them all up. So it's 8 plus 36 plus 90 plus 120 plus 216. That gives me 470. So I know the formula here. So the mean is the sum of fx divided by the sum of f. So x bar is going to be 470 divided by the sum of f, which is 118. So that's going to give me 470 divided by 118 and that's going to give me 3.98 so that's the mean now it says to work out an estimate for the standard deviation of these parking times so let's write down the formula for it so it's the square root of the sum of fx squared divided by the sum of f minus the mean squared. That's the formula for the standard deviation. Now notice in the question, they give me the sum of fx squared, which is 2,872. Sorry, it's the square root of 2,872 over the sum of f, which is 118 minus the mean squared. So I'm just gonna write it as 470 over 118 to preserve the accuracy here squared, that's the mean squared. So we can type this into our calculator and type that exactly into our calculator here. So it's the square root of 2872 over 118 minus the mean squared, 470 over 118, all squared and that will give me the standard deviation of 2.91. So that will give me 2.91. And that's it, we're done.